let's go to image then upload from computer and let's choose the one file that we done hello guys and welcome to ai plus more and in this video i will be showing you how you can make an ebook using google docs and if you go ahead and go to google docs i mean i already have it open but if you go here to the landing page of google docs you might look at it and think like there's nothing to see here well apparently there's more than meets the eye to this boring looking website and other than acting like an online microsoft word you can actually also do a lot of things like that same way that you do in word and we can make an ebook using google docs as well and let me show you how you can do that so first of all let's create a document i have already created one and let me list down the things that we need to do first we need to do a cover page or the cover photo of your book and the next one would be putting on a table of contents then we can add whatever we want like a preface or an author's note and then we can go ahead to writing our story or if you've already written a story then you could just paste your story like i'm going to do later on all right so let's go on so first of all the cover page so we need to be adding some picture here and you can add or get pictures from free websites such as pexos.com and what i like about pexos.com is everything here is free and uploaded by users to register to this website all right so i actually have downloaded one picture here already so let's go back to our document and in order to put the picture that we are going to use we just need to go over here to file then let's go over oh no no actually no. what am i saying i'm getting too, way too ahead of myself let's go to insert let's go to image then upload from computer and let's choose the one file that we downloaded i mean i downloaded so this is the picture that i got and to make sure that this only stays here in this one page because apparently when you use this picture and you put it in the header what happens is when you get go to the next page it will just appear everywhere and we don't want that so let's make sure that it's stuck in the middle of the file you go ahead and click on it and go to image options then we need to make sure that this is behind text so that later on we're going to be putting our text above it so now what we need to do is to go on position and make sure it says fixed position on page so that it's never gonna go anywhere out of it so now let's just enlarge this picture and make sure that it's inside there now we can just arrange it okay so let's just leave that there for now and then we can add our title so i would like to use a table for this one so that we can move it anywhere that we want we now have our table and now let's just put here the title of our page and we can also remove the border for that so that it won't be there but it's still there so let's name the name of my book is called the lieb gibberin anthology all right and then let's adjust the table so that it fits well it doesn't have to look like that And there we go that's our cover photo and now let's move on to the table of contents this, this can just be basic so i'm just gonna put a table of contents make this a bit larger then let's just add in Then we can head over to the first chapter or the first story in my book so this is an anthology that i'm writing it's called the leave go Green anthology and i'm planning to publish it soon so it's about love stories from breakups to meeting new people to falling in love again to going through the sad the ups and downs of a relationship so i'm just gonna copy this one that i've written that's the first All right, so we have our story there. Now we can just adjust the font of this one as well. To marry weather, so that it's the same the uniform for everything. So story number one is called Poem. So since we have the right amount of pages now, that means we can adjust when or where 
story number two actually takes place. So if we count from there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's around page eleven. And if you're wondering if how you can add pages into like the page numbers through every page in your book, then what you need to do is to head over to insert and then go to page numbers. Then let's can go to more options. So we also have this checkbox here which says show on first page. But since we have a cover photo on our first page, let's uncheck this and we can start at number one. Let's go apply and there we go. We have our pages and it's literally exactly what how it looks like in the table of contents and the rest is up to you and i will leave the rest to your imagination and to your writing because like every from one writer to another it never ends the story never ends until you decide for it to end until you're tired <laughs> but that's it that is how you can make an ebook using google docs i hope this video helped you and i'll see you in the next one good luck writing love you all Hello guys, once again this is Kim and I would like to thank you all for watching this video but don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more free tutorials for your everyday needs and come on once again let me tell you it's free okay so if you change your mind you can always unsubscribe later on but I would suggest not to do that please 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 please